Hello and welcome to Sound Mind, Sound Body. I'm Izzy No, and I'm a health and well-being coach for the music industry, specifically the electronic music industry, because that's the one I know best. And this is a monthly workshop where I share health and well-being tips and practices. And this month, and this month, to celebrate the new year, happy new year, the topic is how to start 2024 grounded. First, a little bit about me. I'm Izzy No, or Isabel is my real name. And uh, I used to work in the electronic music industry in Paris, in China, in Amsterdam, and then in Barcelona, where I live now, during 10 years. And in the end, in 2011, I was launching my own artist management agency and I had a burnout because my life was all over the place. I was traveling a lot, not sleeping enough. My eating habits were terrible. And, uh, and at one point, I went to Amsterdam dance event in 2011 and when I came back, I just like uh, broke down and uh, I had a real crisis and at that time burnout wasn't a word uh, employed in the mental health uh, environment and so I finished in the hospital and they gave me some medication and that really broke me down and uh, I was unable to work anymore. I, was, uh, I had a depression, I had a lot of anxiety and uh, I, I was like totally disconnected from life and uh, there was a lot of stigma about mental health at that time. There still is, but not now it's getting more accepted. And uh, it was a pretty lonely episode. And, uh, and what really helped me was that I was already practicing Kung Fu and Tai Chi and I would that was the only thing I managed to do during several years. And uh, I would go training in the morning, I would go training in the evening, and uh, little by little, my recovered, my mental health, my physical health, because I also had like secondary effects from the medication I was taking. So for example, I had a hard time coordinating my movements, and uh, it made me also slow down. And uh, so I chose to practice more Tai Chi because it's a slower pace than Kung Fu. And little by little, I recovered my health. And uh, I decided to share that practice. And uh, I got my black belt in 2014 and started teaching people and sharing the benefits of Tai Chi. So uh, Tai Chi is an internal martial art and it helps stay focused, concentrate better. It uh, helps on the physical aspect. It uh, helps with uh, the flexibility and strength. We have like stronger muscles and on the mental side, it's good to reduce anxiety depression, it helps regulate sleep, and it also helps uh, have a balanced emotions. So this really is like a holistic approach. And uh, from there, I also did more Qigong, which is part of the traditional Chinese medicine. Qigong is energy work, Qi is vital energy, and Gong is uh, cultivating or hard work. And uh, through slow movements, we can regulate our emotions, feel more centered, feel more calm. And uh, also, um, this is a way to increase the energy flow within the body. And in Chinese medicine, when the energy flow is blocked, then that's when we become sick or that we have uh, some problems in health either physical, mental, or emotional. So it's uh, very important to have a good flow of energy through the body. And uh, after that, I started uh, studying um, 
some Thai massage and also uh, Shiatsu massage, which is also related to traditional Chinese medicine. And uh, all these practices led me to to become a health and well-being coach after doing a training as a fitness coach as well. And uh, now I help help electronic music professionals, artists, and other people be, uh, behind the scenes because there's not only the artists in this industry, and uh, and it can be really uh, draining for for people behind the scenes because there's a lot of work as well and uh, and I help uh, the community to take care of their health to adopt some healthy habits and to get some morning and evening routines and help them with uh, Tai Chi and Qigong and uh, some soft fitness no, we, we don't go into the hardcore uh, workout. And uh, today we are going to talk about being grounded. So what does that mean? To be grounded is to be fully present. Being here and now and connecting with our body, connecting with the environment and this is a way to be centered and this helps us face any situation. The opposite of being grounded is being scattered all over the place, uh, having anxiety, uh, thinking a thousand things at the same time. This is... And it's true that life currently is really helping us, contributing to have us uh, be very dispersed with uh, the social media, with computers, with technology, with working on several projects, and uh, everything is always urgent. And so there are techniques, grounding techniques, to get centered easily. So we're going to start with the first one, which is really nice, is move your body. Yes. <laughs> and just before doing the workshop, I put on a song and it was uh, Marshall Jefferson, move your body. <laughs> and I dance. So moving your body is uh, any activity you like to do. Uh, you can dance, you can jump, you can go run, you can do any type of exercise. And uh, that's a way to just like, Reconnect with yourself. Then we want to do breath work. Breath work is a, there are several types of breath work. One easy style is the box breathing, four, 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 four. Yes, so you inhale four seconds. Block. Four seconds. Exhale, four seconds. And block, four seconds. And carry on. So that's one method. And you can, you can look up other methods that work better with you. That's a freestyle because now there's like, there are many different prefer styles. Another grounding uh, practice is to get outside. Just uh, go walk into the nature. This uh, helps reconnect with yourself. I like to go into the park that's uh, near my place every day, a little walk. Uh, for people uh, like my friend Michelle who has her dog, this is a good way to connect also with nature. You go walk your dog if you have a, a pet. And, uh, and you can notice what you like hearing, listening to the birds or watching how the nature is changing throughout the season. And uh, this is a, a quite effective way to reconnect with oneself and the universe. And then you can do a switch of locations. If you're finding yourself 
in an environment where there's like too much chaos, like uh, too, too much simulation. Well, you can just like uh, take a break and and say, okay, I need to regroup. I'm gonna go uh, refresh myself and I'll be back. This is a good way to get centered. Some people, they take like a toilet break and they go meditate in the bathroom and then they return and they're refreshed. Then there's a five, four, three, two, one method. Have you heard of that one? This is a pretty interesting one because it involves our five senses. So we want to, to say out loud five things that we see, four things that we can touch, three things that you can hear, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. And this involves all the senses. Then you can eat or drink something. This also makes you reconnect with the body and that helps us become grounded. Another one is singing. So for the singers out there, or if there's everyone who likes singing or humming, humming is really, really healthy. Humming just like uh, regulates us and gets us uh, into our body and in a meditative state. Then you can do a body scan. So you start from the head and you feel what's going on up inside my head. And when I go down, my ears, my shoulders, my chest, my belly, my arms, down to my fingers, the tips of my fingers, how do I feel, down, going down the legs, down to the feet and down up to the end of the toes and wiggle the little toes, yes, and feel like where is the, the anxiety in case we're feeling anxiety, where is that situated within our body and uh, and uh, accept it and uh, acknowledge it. Then we can also take a bath or a shower. This is also very healthy. The contact of the water, just like, uh, because the skin is the largest organ of our body. And so, Getting inside water, touching the water, really helps us regulate the nervous system. And finally, you can try earthing. Earthing is when you walk barefoot on the ground and connect with the earth, mother nature. And uh, for example, you can walk on the soil or you can walk uh, on some rocks or on sand. And this, this is a good way to like connect because uh, we have a magnetic field and uh, this helps us connect with the earth magnetic field. And so talking about magnetic field, I want to share about that, that uh, we have, a, we are a bioelectrical body. So in ancient uh, medicines like Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine, we talk about the prana in Ayurveda or qi in uh, traditional Chinese medicine. And this is like energy that flows through our body. And when that energy is blocked, then that's when uh, the, the illness and uh, ailments uh, starts arriving. So it's very important to regularly move our body so that this energy flows through us. And it is also connected to the rest of uh, the environment, meaning that in traditional Chinese medicine, the human being is considered the 
link between the sky and the earth. And so the energy from the earth goes through our body and connects to the sky. And the energy of the sky goes through our body and connects to the earth. And we'll do an exercise, a Qigong exercise to work that later on. And um, I also want to say a few things about food. There are some grounding foods. So for example, when I had my burnout, I was in this phase that I was so stressed and anxious and all over the place that I was unable to sleep and I was unable to eat. And to and I was all in my head and uh, and uh, very disper dispersed. And to be grounded, what I needed was to eat and eat grounding food. And grounding foods are meats and root vegetables like uh, the sweet potato or carrots or turnips or parsnips, beets or ginger. These are this type of, uh, of uh, root vegetables. And also like now in the Northern Hemisphere where in winter, well, winter squashes like uh, the butternut, they're also grounding foods. So this is a good way also to reconnect. And uh, there's also an earthing visualization, which is imagining that you have a connection between your heart and the center of the earth. So first, we slow down the breathing and get centered and imagine like a, a thread or like a, a beam that's coming from our heart and that's connecting to the center of the earth. You can imagine like a magma or you can imagine uh, a nucleus inside the heart of the earth, the center of the earth and you see the energy flowing from your heart to the center of the earth and then you imagine another beam coming from the center of the earth and going up to your heart. And so there's two links and one goes in one direction and the other one goes in the other direction and have this connection. And at the same time, let your body sink with all your weight, like with the feet that are really connected to the ground and feel the connection to the center of the earth. And then another exercise that's connected to traditional Chinese medicine is to cover the head. You want to cover your crown. So here above the crown, in the center of the crown, there's this point called Bai Hui, which is in traditional Chinese medicine, the, the place where we connect with the energy of the, of the sky, basically. And when we're too much in our head, there's like a lot of energy and heat going up there, then it's important to cover that point so that the energy goes back inside the body instead of escaping 
to that point. And one more thing is to feel your feet. Like feeling, there's a point called uh, the, oops, I forgot the name. It's uh, the bubbly well is uh, kidney number one in traditional Chinese medicine. And it's on the bottom of your foot in the center. And that point connects you to the energy of the earth. And so you, we want to feel the energy of our feet, feel that point connecting and getting us grounded and imagining that we have roots coming out of the feet. And now I will introduce some Qigong practices to help you get grounded. So the first one is called Zhan Zhuang. It's spelled Z-H-A-N. And the second word is Z-H-U-A-N-G. Zhan Zhuang. And this is a static Qigong exercise. It means stand like a tree. And the way it works, I invite you to stand up. You separate your feet, the width of your hips. You bend slightly the knees. The shoulders are relaxed. And you raise your arms naturally and so they are doing like a circle and if imagine you're holding like a heavy book in your hands you can close the, your eyes to feel the position better bend slightly the knees and feel your feet touching the ground the floor and connecting with the energy of the earth and imagine that there are roots coming down from the bottom of your feet and diving deep inside the earth and this connects you with the energy of the earth you can slow down your breath Feel the strength of being rooted. And this practice, you can do it like two minutes, and some people they practice it to 40 minutes. I never managed to get to 40 minutes, that's a long time. And uh, it, it really helps you get centered and regroup. It clears your mind. Okay. And this is for the John Chuang stand like a tree. The second exercise we'll do now is the chi belt. The chi belt, I like to recommend it before going on stage, if, if you have stage fright or before uh, having an important meeting or an important presentation. And uh, this helps you get grounded in movement by, by moving the body. So, 
same position to start with the feet are separated the width of the hips and we bend our knees we relax the shoulders and we breathe in and the hands go up little by little and we breathe out, bend our knees and press an imaginary balloon as if we want the balloon to enter our belly button or our stomach. Our profile, it looks like this. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, press an imaginary balloon, bends the knees. And again, inhale, hands go up. And exhale, hands go down, press the imaginary balloon. Again, inhale, hands go up. Exhale, hands go down, we bend the knees slightly, inhale, hands go up, exhale, hands go down, we bend the knees and sink in, two more times, inhale, hands go up, Exhale, hands go down, press the imaginary balloon. And last time, inhale, hands go up. And exhale, hands go down. Press the imaginary balloon. And we finish by concentrating the energy in the Dantian, which is an energy point below the belly button and we can close the eyes. And the third exercise, third and last exercise for today, is part of the five animal shiku. And the, it's for the first animal, which is the tiger. And the movement is moving the energy between the earth and the sky. And so it starts saying the feet are separated by the width of the hips, we bend slightly our knees and we take energy from the ground, inhale, bring the energy up with loose fists, little by little, and at the level of the eyes, we turn the hands, open the palms and send the energy to the sky. And Take energy from the sky, inhale, bring the energy down little by little, open the hands, exhale, send energy to the ground. And again, take energy from the Earth, inhale, bring the energy up little by little, at the level of the eyes, open the palms and exhale, send energy to the sky, and 
the repeat. Take energy from the sky. Inhale. Bring the energy down. And then open the palm. Palms facing down. And we exhale. And send energy to the ground. And again. Take energy from the ground. Inhale. Bring the energy up. At the level of the eyes, open the palms, send the energy to the sky. Exhale and take energy from the sky. Inhale and bring it down little by little. Open the hands, palm facing the ground. And we send energy to the ground. And one last time, we take energy from the ground. Inhale, bring the energy up, little by little. And open the palms, hands facing the sky. Exhale, send energy to the sky. And we take energy from the sky and bring it down little by little. Inhale. Open the hands. Send the energy to the ground. Exhale. And we concentrate the energy in the Dantian, one hand on top of the other. We can close the eyes. And little by little, we can open the eyes. So I hope you like that practice and these different exercises. And if you would like to learn more, I have a course coming up next week. It's a six-week online course called Harmony Flow where we practice the five animal qigong. The five animal qigong is based on traditional Chinese medicine, one animal for one element, and for each element, there's an emotion which is attached to it. And we will learn to regulate our emotions and get centered. And this will help you get grounded, of course. And in this way, you can have the best year because thanks to these practices, these are tools that are acquired for your whole life. And once you learn those and practice on a regular basis, then you can feel centered very easily just when you feel like there's a, a challenge, okay, here's my tool, and you practice it, and it gets you regulated very quickly. So I recommend you join this course. I will leave the link to the course in the comments, and I'll look forward to seeing you there.
see you